Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today it's going to be about Henry Cavill, Natalie Viscuso, who is a big uh, a TV and digital uh, executive of, of some big production company. And uh, then we're also going to talk about um, Nikki Haley and Donald Trump. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Okay, this should be fun today. We're going to do uh, Henry Cavill and his longtime girlfriend, since 2021 anyway, um, Natalie Vis Viscuso. Viscuso, I'm going to look up her name here. Natalie Viscuso, yeah. And then uh, who, as a matter of fact, Natalie Viscuso is this uh, VP of uh, uh, Legendary Entertainment, I think. She's a VP of t TV and Digital. So right up uh, Henry Cavill's uh, alley. And uh, they announced that they were official in 2021, so that's interesting. And then uh, the second uh, draw that I'll do will be Nikki Haley and kind of versus Donald Trump. So whatever questions come to mind about Nikki Haley as far as this Donald Trump thing goes, I mean, she's improving in her polls, but, um, you know, it doesn't look like it's enough to take on Donald Trump. But before we do anything, let's have just a moment. Meditation. Okay, so Henry Cavill and girlfriend uh, Natalie Viscusa. Let's do three cards uh, on each of them individually and then see uh, what comes of that. So Henry Cavill and Natalie Viscusa. Let's do three cards each. I'm going to draw all the three cards right now. So one, <clears throat> two, three. This will be Henry Cavill and Natalie. One, two, three. Three. What can the cards just tell us generally about these two? And then uh, we'll do something a little more in depth. So uh, Henry uh, Cavill, what can the cards get us started with on him right now? So the first card up is, um, uh, okay, so it's 10, 15, 16, 17. So this is the star card, Starry Night, or this, this secret's being revealed, the 17. I need to look it up. So let's get my handy cheat sheet out that I haven't used in some time. And so 17 is going to be the star card. Yeah, so Starry Night. So this means, uh, oh, that's excellent for Henry Cavill. He, that means he is will remain a star. This is even, look, it even is a, a man against that Starry Night photo. Okay, so great. Silly me. Starry Nights. Uh, the second card up for Henry Cavill, just to get a footing for where he is, is, um, so this is the four. So this is the Emperor card. This is excellent. So these are both major arcana cards and they're fantastic. The emperor is in charge. Okay. Last card, just for Henry, Henry Cavill, we'll see where we are. And also a major arcana. This is a 10, 11, 12, 13, and this is death. doesn't mean literal death, but it does mean the end of a cycle. End of a cycle means another cycle is coming up, but it's interesting. So he's a star. He's very much in charge as, as the emperor of whatever we're going to read about here. But there's some definite end. Uh, coming up and you know that means an abrupt stop of course something else begins after that it could be fabulous and, and great but this is where we're at with Henry, Henry Cavill then for um, Natalie Viscuso first card up remember TV exec look she's the fool so she, this is a new journey she's walking the line right here um, <clears throat> so where he has an end of a, a journey she has a beginning ah maybe that's the beginning of their journey together and then this one of wands, this ace of wands is a great big plan. So yeah, she is all about getting things done. And then the final card here with this two of swords is making a choice, having to decide which way to go. So that's pretty interesting because as a TV executive with a boyfriend who's a major box office draw, it's not like that's never happened before. But yeah, uh, it's uh, making a decision which way you're going to go. Uh, does that mean uh, she works exclusively for his, his image? Who knows? So those are the cards I get generally for those two. <clears throat> Let's do 
So we see that the cards kind of lend to an interpretation that, you know, their paths have crossed and decisions have to be made about how to continue on with that. So let's do six cards for the two of them, Henry Cavill and Natalie Viscuso as a couple and see what that says. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you know, there's been lots of um, powerful couples where one's a star and the other one is the uh, star maker or the, or the machine behind the star. So, um, so let's see. Signifier card for Henry and uh, Natalie as a couple. Okay, so this is a wand. This is the Knight of Wands, I want to say. Usually, you're going to see a horse on a knight, so I'm going to say, no, this is a page. So this is a page of wands. Page is the least effective member of the royal court, but it's an idea. A wand is an action, a plan, a forward movement. So the two of them together, it's, it's the beginning of something. Okay, so this is the knight right here. You see the horse. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is going to fight for his remit. His remit is value. So the, <clears throat> the challenge to this thought of an action going forward, which is the two of them as a force, is um, money. Okay, fighting for the money. Um, the basis of this whole thing then is the Seven of Pentacles. And this is kind of um, wondering if you've done enough. Okay. And as it relates to value. So the basis of all of this is, is being sure that they've shored up what's going forward. Yeah, they're seriously considering becoming a power couple. And then this uh, Ace of Cups in the past is emotions. Cups are emotions, heartfelt situations, but that's in the past. So this great big bang of emotion, that's over with. So they met, they fell in love, they're on their way now to something else. <clears throat> in the sky of this then is this uh, queen of action, of swords, queen of swords. And look at this queen. This is Natalie Viscuso. She may be beautiful, but I'm going to tell you she's deadly when it comes to her truth, justice, her rules, and her law. Interesting. And then the final outcome for all of this is the magician card. Yeah, being able to mix everything up because you have everything that's available to you. You've got the swords, the pentacle, the cup, and the wand. The magician can make it happen. And so that's the outcome of this. This will be a successful union financially, <clears throat> at least. So now let's move right on to Nikki Haley <clears throat> and then Donald Trump. Let's see. Let's do three cards for Nikki Haley. I always like to do three cards just to kind of get warmed up to a subject uh, to see where the cards are going to go. So three cards just for Nikki Haley. I'm not going to ask if she's going to stay in. I'm not going to ask if she's going to beat Trump. I just want to know from the cards what is um, a warm up to what's going on for Nikki Haley. <clears throat> Three cards. Got a frog in my throat today. So one, two, and three cards for Nikki Haley. Let's see. Okay, the first card up is, oh, remember the way things were, the Six of Cups. Cups are compassion, emotion, heartfelt situations. And the Six of Cups is, you know, a fond remembrance of when things were in a better time. Interesting. Does it mean when her job was easier, when the country was better? What does this mean? <clears throat> The um, 15 card, what is the 15 card? Is this the devil card? I believe it is. This is the devil card in this suit. That's interesting. So tied to lesser intention. And that's at the center of this little uh, get to know you. And then the final here is this uh, uh, page of swords, truth, justice, rules, and law. A very weak offering of truth, justice, rules, and law. Remember when things were easier. Uh, really being tied to lesser intention right now instead of a true, honest cause. And then truth, just, and rules law is taking a very minor role. It's there, but it's taking a minor role. So now let's see uh, her uh, compared to Trump in six cards. Knowing this little bit about her, that she's got a hard way to go. Um, you know, she's uh, kind of letting herself go with the crowd on this uh, being tied to lesser intention thing on as far as the attacks, I guess. <clears throat> Six cards, Nikki and Trump. Two, three, four, five, six. I've been experimenting with camera angles and it's slight. What's happened is because of the way this little room is set up, I have to position the camera in such a way that I'm not, when I'm talking to you, I'm not talking to the center of my screen like I usually am. I'm talking to the camera, which is up and to the right of center. 
uh, and I forget to do that. So if sometimes I seem distracted or uh, you know not paying attention, believe me, it's not that. It's just I haven't gotten used to this new camera situation I have. So signifier card for Nikki and Dani is the three. So this is the Empress. She is the Empress. It's not the Emperor. She is the Empress. The next card, the challenge to them is remembering the way things were. I love when the cards repeat. Uh, it kind of tells me that the cards feel like, oh, I know how you're going to read me, so now I know how to send you for an interpretation. So yeah, so she's <clears throat> she is the Empress right now. She's the number two to Donald. And um, can you hear that? There's a siren going on. And then, but uh, the challenge to being that is is remembering the way things were. Remember, she worked for Donald Trump. She was the governor of Georgia. The basis of all of this is a page of uh, wands, so just an idea of action. Okay, so the basis of all this is a very weak action. The uh, past of this is the Five of Swords moving out of troubled water. No, that's a Six of Swords. What is the Five of Swords? It is of theft and betray uh, abuse of power. That's in the past. The abuse of power is in the past. Donald's abuse of power is a little bit in the past now. You've got to find a new talking point. And in the sky of this thing between Nikki and Donnie, is this two of cups is oh the sky of this is the cup the pair that they were she worked for him she represented supposedly the united states but let's face it him um and then the uh final out to come for this is this five is the higher is the government card is she going to win the presidency that's interesting Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a second. So this Impressionist Tarot, these cards are everything that I've ever wanted in a set of cards except for the quality. And I'll tell you what I mean. The um, box is fantastic. It's a beautiful box. If you gave this as a gift or if you got it as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, somebody really put some thought into what they were uh, giving me. And the guidebook is very useful. It's a full color guidebook with very thoughtful uh, ideas as to the divination of the cards. And uh, the uh, the creators of this are Corrine Kenner and the artwork by Arturo Pica. And so what they've done is they've actually taken impressionists um, that you will know of and, uh, and that you will see art in galleries and um and use their art to make these cards and, um, and so what they've they've taken the actual artwork um and sometimes uh, arturo pica has added elements to the original art to help in the divination or he may have blended a couple of uh pieces of art uh, from one or two or uh, artists to uh, get to this uh, this work here but they're gorgeous to use i love them and uh, I feel like this is just a good way to get the cards mixed up without creating too much damage to them. I mean, some folks like to kind of really handle the cards and bend them and break them you know, to uh, make them theirs. That's just not what I like to do. Uh, nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do. But uh, this Impressionist Tarot, I'm so happy with these cards.